Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Those fools asking you to concentrate on Nigeria don't know the importance of <laughs> don't know the importance of your political impact in Zambia. We appreciate your role, King Jagaban. This is coming from Jen General Chikwekwe. God bless you. HH has failed on Barose land. And that has caused a lot of more trouble to himself. That's, that, that's what I'm telling you. This is just that the opposition is not serious. And the reason why I'm not quick to start fighting HH is because I don't want people to jump from frying pan to fire. No. No. We must reach an agreement. And when we reach that agreement, we remove a church easily. Take it from me. Easily. It's as easy as ABC. This is a psychological game. How did we remove PF? How did how many people are calling HH Satanist today? How many people are calling him Freemason today? Those are psychological problems. We remove those things from people and put it on other people. Now, you have chance. Anyway, come again. We love you here in Zambia so much. God bless you. I love you more. And I, I mean well for you, you know. I mean well for you, the people of Zambia. I love you. So, there are many, many comments and questions that are coming god bless you i'm going to announce a date that we are going to go into politics already even without me going into politics uh, things are not very well for hh and this is because of how when you are in power there are people when you are in opposition there are people that you are working with hmm? there are people that you are working with this is weird this is the only problem that i have with upn the nhs there are people that we are working with the people that help you and you won election by a million what has happened to them all of a sudden they are no longer competent to work with you you are now this person that person even getting useless people like Frank Walia. I mean, a person that has failed in all ramifications. A reverend, as a reverend father, he failed. As a politician, he failed. That is the person that can help you to win election in 2026. Open your eyes, His Excellency. Open your eyes. You are finished. You don't have the people of Barose. Anyone that is telling you that you have them. We have seen that movie before between Sata and the Rupia Banda. We know how it ended. People of Barose are, they are intelligent people. Those guys are wise. Those guys are not fools. President Lungu even gave them a vice president. But they were not cheated. You, you have given them nothing. You just gave them misery, opening their wound. And some, I don't know if it's somebody that advised you to do that. The president that came before you had the way they dealt with those guys. Those guys are too intelligent. Barose people, I was in Zambia, I dealt with them. Those guys are too intelligent and they are united. It's because of having wrong people around you. 
I won't say anything because campaign has not begun. I'm still waiting for the opposition to get ready. So that when we tell you that this is bad, we now have, we will tell you to say, okay, try this one. Until then, see my office. <laughs> eh? See my life. See my church. Eh? See, I mean, what am I going to mention? God is good to me. I am helping a lot of people from all over the world. And they are remembering me. They are blessing me. Every blessed day, I'm receiving gifts. Every blessed day, I'm receiving money. And don't forget that I am the don of power, the engineer of miracle money. So I won't suffer. Even if you win, it doesn't win. You are the one that will suffer. Many of you are just like this from going to jail. Just like this from going to jail. Opposition, you don't have the capacity. You don't have the capacity to move your pen. You don't. You have to be serious. Very. Somebody can deceive you. Oh, you are popular. You are popular. I'm my my dear. Forget it. Election in Africa is not won by popularity. There are powers that make it possible, physical and spiritual. If you are not serious, if you are not serious, you will suffer. You are going to suffer. I have given you example. And those of you that are advising a church, I told you before, before now, in 2026, a church is going to fight, is going to contest against tribalism. Did I say it or did not say it? A church will contest against tribalism. In 2024, a church will contest against the Catholic Church. In 2026, 20, a church is going to contest against the poor people of Zambia that had so much hope. The people that we spoke to. I know how many hundreds of thousand people that lost their money from uh, not safe. Uh, what, what do you call them? Ango, Sanko, all these things. The time I was doing my last broadcast that pulled over 32,000 viewers, I told them that when HH come into power, if you manage to vote him, we are going to reco recover those money. I told them that it was PF that stole that money. When actually all of us know the people that stole that money. These are things that we are coming back to explain to the people. And once we do it, phew, Currently, UPND, HH don't have support in the UPND. Just imagine a whole president coming to receive Frank Boyle. Who is Frank? <laughs> I mean, Frank was a liability to PF. He was a liability to SP. When he was in SP, SP was not growing. President Fred Member's party was not growing. Now the party is growing massively. Somebody that is created by God advised the president, say, bring Tayali. They brought Tayali, uh, 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 Frank Walia. They brought him in, in the, against all odds, in the presence of all the people that suffered for a church. They made him the presidential campaign media the director for presidential campaign team what does frank know about upnd manifesto <laughs> how many food soldiers does frank walia know in upnd i mean there are people that know upnd people there are people that know what upnd people want there is Mubita Nawa. I don't know the crime that this guy committed that you hate him like this. You you hate him with with I don't know. There is that one you threw to Botswana. Uh, is it Botswana where you threw or Namibia? Anthony Mwamba. Anthony, I've forgotten his name. There are guys that went to prison that understand what UPND guys want. You brought Frank, what will Frank tell the people? 
<laughs> so Frank is going to campaign against us in 2026. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Many of you are watching. You don't know who Frank is. Let me show you who Frank is. Then <laughs> call it. <laughs> <laughs> see <laughs> see Chile <laughs> this frog is going to campaign against us <laughs> he's the one who we <laughs> who is going to stand to counter the <laughs> this is the one who explained the the manif the manif the manifest the what the manifestos of uh, UPND <laughs> Just look at this. <laughs> look at this. See him, Frank. <laughs> Frank is the H H. Sorry for you. People are deceiving you. Just like I told the president Edgar Lungo, I told him that people were deceiving him. He thought I was joking. Immediately he lost election. All those people were deceiving him. Everybody scatter, Inclu including Dorasilia. Where do you see Dorasilia near near Edgar Lungo? No, you. Everyone have disappeared. It's now there on its own. <laughs> See, somebody advised the president to bring this uh, Kalul <laughs> to come and explain the presidential manifest. <laughs> Where are the UPND guys that suffered with the president? I mean, this guy was PF and PF lost election. He was he opened his own party and failed to convince people about his own party. <laughs> he jumped to SP. <laughs> See, he jumped to SP and nearly destroyed SP. Now, he's uh, here. Now in UPND, is the Messiah of UPND. HH don't know that he's busy killing his part. I'm not here to do politics. I'm done for today. But uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, youths of Africa wake up. It is time for us to rule. It is time for us to take over leadership. This is not time for this is not the time for politics. This is not the time for politics. Yet politics will start when the opposition become serious. Once they once they become serious, we start politics. But as for now, we'll keep on uh, opening the eyes of the people. I can read your comment quickly, your question, and then I can call it a day and start my work today. From all that I've taught you today, is there any question that you want to ask me? And I'm going to answer you. Come with your question now in the comment section. Type your question in the comment section. Type your question in the comment section. Please bring your question. Any question that you want to ask me, bring it in the comment section. Let me answer you. My parents are in South Sudan, but I want a way to come. I want, but I want a way they come. Please. Ask your question very, very well. Maybe, are you the one that want to come here? Then we can help you. Give us your question. See, one, I'm watching you from Ndola, Zambia. This is Mulenga Griffin. God bless you, Mulenga Griffin. Thank you for tuning in. 
see your one why don't you focus to in on nigeria you have four far many challenges in nigeria than zambia the work that we are doing in zambia or anywhere in the world is the same work that we are doing in nigeria many of you don't know about this when i came to nigeria one of the reasons why many of you i have explained this in the blogs and i'm going to explain it again so that many of you maybe you can hear this when i came to nigeria one of the reasons why that brought me to nigeria is change i wanted a change in government i wanted the youths to take over i wanted a reform in nigeria in politics i didn't waste time when i came to nigeria i invested my resources a lot of money in politics i wanted peter obi to become the president and how were we going to do this? How are we going to achieve this goal? How are we going to make Peter be the president? Before you go far, you must remember that this is my one year and eight months establishment in Nigeria. One year and eight months establishment in Nigeria. I've not even been here as an established person for two years i am here in less than two years i spent over 10 years in zambia that's why on my page 90 percent of my followers are from zambia they're not even from nigeria there was a time i limited my page i blocked the people of zambia i blocked the people of Botswana, blocked the people of south africa from assessing my page so that i can concentrate and build the church that was when our church was one month two months six months one year it was after one year that i unblocked them many of you will realize that few months ago or few months ago when i post something on facebook or when i go live you see 200 people are watching 100 people are watching uh, 150 people are watching when i post something 20 people are commenting many of you say ah cr1 has lost popularity people no longer follow cr1 but you didn't know what i did i was building nigerian audience i didn't want them to interfere with zambian audience or Botswana. or i was building nigerian audience if you understand facebook you know you filter out some countries from your page so i filtered zambia out because zambia was leading Zambia is actually leading. Now I have over 700,000 people following me from Zambia. The rest are Nigeria and few and South Africans. So, so I filtered them out. I wanted to concentrate on Nigeria because I was establishing a church. All the services we are using strictly Igbo language. Before I could preach with English language, it was because I wanted to build a stand in Nigeria. And we started building. Now, the ministry has grown. This is the single largest congregation here in this state. Within a space of... Within a space of... I, I want to show you this. This is just within a space of... Look at that. This is within a space of one year and few months. Look at that. This is now the single largest congregation. Look at that. Look at the crowd. Look at it. So, this is when people are beginning to know us in Nigeria. I spent quite a lot of time in Zambia. Give me a few more years. And you will see that the same amount of people that are following me from Zambia, Nigeria will even have more. But that's by the way. So I limited, I wanted to build Nigerian audience. So we started building Nigerian audience and build that. So when I came, what can we do to help it be to become the president? I used my money. I invested in politics. I invested in PVC, encouraging 
young people to go and get their, 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 their voters card and prepare to vote out a piece. I was doing that. In fact, many of you that don't know, let me see, let, let me check if I can see this. Many of you that are not aware of this, uh, God help me to find this. Hmm. Please be a little bit patient with me. I want to show you something very important. I am addressing this because you really, really need to hear it. There are so many of you that are very clueless. You are, you are ignorant, very ignorant. I want to open your eyes. Okay, I'm to, okay. I'm going to make a broadcast. I'm check. I'm trying to check here where I can see. I led thousands of youths to the streets because of Peter B. I wanted Peter B to become the president. We were in forefront doing that. I'm going to show you the proof. I led. Um, imagine in less than months in Nigeria, I was able to feel brought. I brought the city to a total standstill, encouraging the youths to get their PVC to vote for Peter Obi. But you know what happened? Along the line, I realized the people behind Peter Obi, the original people behind Peter B. If I'm supporting you and America is supporting you, you will lose my support because I know who you are. If I'm supporting you and Britain is supporting you, you will lose my support. I know who you are. That is how I stop my support. I remove my support from Peter B. Because I put a call across I said, I wanted to see you here. I wanted him here. Because we can't jump from fire to frying pan, or from frying pan to fire. That's how I stopped. Hold on. Hold on. With this question, hold on. I'm coming to do politics at night. When tens of thousands will turn in, they, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm doing in every nation, I'm doing it. You have never seen me fighting Nigerian leaders, then you don't follow me. You have never been to my church or to my services. If there is one person that stands his ground and speaks to the leaders without fear, you see, I want no one else. If you do it, they will put you in prison. But no one can put me in prison. I say anything that I want to say, so long as it's the truth, nothing happens. So, I, it's, it's, I talk here, I talk here, I don't segregate. But for Zambia, for Zambia, HH is my product. It's my product. We are the people that packaged him and sent him where he is. And I don't hate him. Even those of you, majority of you PND members, are crying. They are devastated. But they can't talk. That is why the, the opposition need to wake up. If they continue being stupid, if they continue playing, we are going to allow HS to rule. In fact, when he finished ruling the 2026, we are going to help him to amend the constitution and continue ruling. I will, I'm not going to suffer. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.